Hey folks, Adrian here and welcome to Wild Bush and Red. Today we are catching walleyes. Uh, I want to share my technique, my proven technique at catching walleyes. We are going to get technical in this video uh, for lots of folks and this is fine. Fishing is just, you know, relax, throw a line and catch something uh, sometimes. When I fish, I want to catch fish. So I've, you know, refined my process and right now for specific species I have my go-to technique and that I use so if you are on walleyes and the walleyes are actually feeding you do this you will catch them guaranteed all right let's go in the footage that you're seeing you know, in the b-roll that you're seeing I'm catching them using this lure here this is a lunker hunt custom shaky head so this is the, uh, so I was fishing walleyes and I decided, you know, I know red, orange, and yellow are usually are my go-to color. So when I saw this one, I was like, oh, you know what, let's give it a try. It's a jig, it's well sink to the bottom. There was some uh, current, but that was heavy enough to, uh, to sink actually to the bottom. So how I use this, I would just let it sink to the bottom sink upright, you have the current will do it work, meaning like, you know, shaking the tail here. And I would lift it off the bottom and let it sink back. And as it jumps up, I will take the slack in the line, you know, with the reel, and let it then sink again. And then I will do that again. And you, you don't want to cover too much ground. You don't want to do it like little by little, all right? Like small incrementation. And usually the strikes happen as the, um, the lure falls back down. So you often you don't feel them until the next time when you're ready to actually pull it off. And this is where you feel a slight resistance. And this is where you set the hook. All right, now it's on. That's a good one. Yes. So yeah, okay. So you, you're like, yeah, okay, fine, but I don't have shaky head in my arsenal or I cannot find shaky head from Lunker Hunt. What do I do? Well, there's a plethora of other things you can use, all right? You have Dinger from Yum. You have Famous Grub. This one from uh, Mr. Twister. You also can use the Senko from Yamamoto, all right? And oh yeah, also Z-Man. I really love their, their shad. This is like bright orange. So you see the color that I'm staying is always, actually, you know what? let me pull those one out. Okay, so those are all the lure that I was talking about, all right? And you can see, well, I hope you can see the trend. What are the color I'm using? Red, orange, a bit of yellow, okay? And the deeper I need to go, the yellower the color is going to be. So if I'm fishing in 10 feet of water, you know, I'm gonna use the red color. If I'm going deeper, like 20 feet, I'm gonna use orange. And if I'm going even deeper, which rarely happen honestly for walleyes, at least to me, I'm gonna use yellow. But that happens very seldom. I usually find walleye between 10, 15 feet depth when they're feeding. And, you know, no matter what you're using, you know, the grub, I would use them the same way. I would let it sink to the bottom, let it jump, sink to the bottom, get the slack, and let it fall. I have a small video here where you're seeing me, and I'm actually catching a walleye on this shot, uh, on my second shot. I didn't have time to reel, to make it jump, but, like, this is the first cast, and you can see how I will lift up the, uh, the lure from the bottom, take the slack, let it sink back, Lift it up again, let it sink back, take the slack, let it sink down. Okay.
rigging. How, what do I use? If we want to mimic the original one, this is Texas style rigging. So uh, there are a couple, you have a couple of options on the table, okay? You can use here, I have one of the Senko, I'm using the, uh, an offset hook from Gamakatsu. Where are they? They're right here. I'm gonna give you a closer look, okay? And this, so this is worm is five inches and I'm using a uh, five up size hook size. And the secret here is actually, you know what, let me do it. The secret here when you're using a bullet style weight, okay, that you have, that you can screw. I, I like to peg my weight, all right? There is reason sometimes you want to do it, some, some of the time you don't want to do it, but in heavy cover, usually you want to do it. And sometimes I'm not sure what's at the bottom, so I'll just start with a pegged weight, all right? So the way I, I'll do this is when you were Texas rigging, usually you'll come half an inch and then do the, uh, the, the, the rest of the rigging. But what I like to come, you know, when you're coming down at the center of the worm here, I like to go one full inch into the worm, okay? And the reason for this is I want to clear out the, um, the eyelet, but also want some slack to screw in my bullet style, my bullet weight, all right? So I uh, will, I hope this is clear. I'll come fully, I'll push the worm over the eyelet, and then it's gonna, the, the chin, I would say, will come out about here, okay? Then I will usually, let me turn this around so you can have a better look. For the rest of the rigging, I will measure where my hook is about in relation to the worm. And this tells me where I need to, to pierce the worm from the bottom, okay? So like I use my finger as a guide, like this is where my hooks arrive, right? And I want my hook to come from the bottom up at this section here of the worm, okay? So I will pinch here and I will pierce using the, with the hook. I will pierce from the bottom perpendicular all the way up to the top. And then the hook is set, all right? If you're fishing a deep heavy cover, you can hide a little bit you know, the top of that, that hook here so it doesn't get snag on things. And on the other side, uh, you should have already had your bullet weight. Let me put it here. Okay, and then I'll just screw. The weight in. And now you're seeing, you know, it's very flexible, very, very mobile. And this catch walleyes, folks, this catch walleye. Let it sink to the bottom, let it jump up, let it go back again. Wait a few seconds, jump it up, let it sink, get your slack, all right? Now, um, you, you don't have to use an offset shank. You can also use just a straight shank style hook. The only difference is instead of coming down straight, you'd come out at an angle because the, uh, the, uh, the straight uh, sorry, let me do this this way because the straight um, hook will actually be set at an angle in in the worm. So you see that that angle here. You want to mimic that angle. So meaning you will have to come roughly like this, okay, and then you bring all the way up to the top. You pass the guard. And then you, here in the body, you don't want to come perpendicular to the worm. You also want to come at an angle, okay? This is actually closer to what the actual customs from Lunker Hunt is set. It's a straight shank hook. And voila, so I will really like to live a little bit here. Where I fish, it's mostly rocks. You know, there's, there isn't much. And to that, you can also use, you know, a, a weight, a bullet sinker, or whatever weight you want to add at, at the end. The grub, straightforward, you know, using one of these uh, weights hooked. 
weighted hook. So you just need to, uh, let me do that very quickly. This is the hook, this is the grub. You just bring it. I know this is very basic. Like a lot of folks start fishing with this. And, uh, come out and then, yeah. all right, that's usually how I'll set my, uh, and when you have some current, the current will actually give some action to the tail. And this is what you want. You can also use straight weighted hooks, you know, like this one is offset, but it already had a weight in it. If, if you want to get fancier, you can get like a, a full bell head weight, articulated full football, right? Okay. So, whew, <laughs> it took me some time. Uh, so what this does is, it's like, you know, it's similar to, to this, but the main difference is this one has an articulated head, so it's gonna give you way more motion in the water, you know, when your jig will dance around. So, and you can see how all this is, this is actually really, really, really good because it's gonna, and if you have currents and things, the action here is going to be very, uh, very aggressive for, uh, for the fish. All right. Voila, folks. This is how I catch walleyes. And I guarantee you, if you are fishing on walleyes and they are actively feeding, you can't go wrong with this, uh, with this lure using the technique I just described. You. Let it sink to the bottom, make it jump foot and a half, two feet max off the bottom. Let it sink. As it sink, just take the reel. Okay, don't put too, too much tension. Just take the, the, the slack that you have in your line, and you will be catching walleye in no time, guaranteed. All right, folks, this is where this one ends. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, are you fishing walleyes? Let me know what you think. What is your go-to color? What are your favorite type of you know, lake, river? How do you do it? I wanna learn from you. And maybe this is just part one and I'll have part two. All right, folks, thank you so much for watching and be safe out there, have fun out there, and I'll see you in the next video. See you, folks, bye-bye.